choice but to lace up Every day is game day, off my third contract, you still on that same play. Pop spit it out, but I got family sitting chain links. Oh, you about that action, tell them boys you about the same thing. Get your popcorn ready, hat made half amazing. Human highlight reel, you gon' see my name in Beijing. Every rep I take, you'll see the pain that made me. This gritty on a gridiron, only one of us can stay king. Touchdown every time I touch down, and my defense shut down every time I touch ground. Yeah, lying harder, but I got the eye of an eagle. I put the city on my back. Look, I'm gonna ride for my people And once I take the stage I'ma start like evil can evil I built to conquer heights My mind's a Danny DeVito And once I get my first ring I'm manifesting the sequel Yo, this the IFL Swear to me, become heroes of in the end Oh, you ready for that? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Week 2 Action in the IFL. I'm here with Blizzard Offensive Coordinator Matt Barron. Coach, coming off a tough loss in Week 1, what has been the message around this group in practice coming up for this game? Um, so, obviously, you know, very tough loss um, this past week, past week. And we know, you know, it's a, it's a win that we, that we like, get away. Um, so, the big thing this week was, uh, was that one more. We were saying we were breaking down everything, one more rep, one more, you know, one more yard, one more inch, you know, because that, you know, that's what football is, you know, it's a game of inches. But uh, if we just had that one more play, that one more rep or anything, um, you know, we'd probably end up on the other side of the game. So big on one more rep this week. And then obviously finishing, you know, finishing is the big thing. You know, we started off the game, the game great, right? You know, very explosive on offense, defense was getting stopped, we were scoring a lot. Um, you know, but at the end, you know, at the end of the game, we started to trickle off and we didn't finish as well. So obviously finish, you know, finish is the big one for this week. And then uh, quarterback uh, Max uh, Mailer had a great game, 142 yards in the air, yeah. two touchdowns, three on the ground. Yeah. What have you seen from him this year like that he's improved on compared to last year already? Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely super happy for Max. Proud of him, you know, the way he played week one. Um, you know, that's what I expect out of him, though. You know, I, I know the kind of player that he is. You know, I know the work that he's put in. Um, I love that he set, he has taken that big jump from year one to year two. Um, you know, which is you're supposed to do. Obviously, coming off your rookie, you're going into year two. That's what you want to see. Um, a lot of guys in this league don't get caught up and with it getting too comfortable in this league and stuff. And so, kind of sometimes in year two, they kind of like feel the same. But to see that jump from Max is huge. Um, it's huge for me, obviously, as a play caller, it helps me out a lot, but it's obviously most important for this team. Um, we know how important that position is. We know how much, um, you know, structure goes into that, you know, having a guy like that. And so for him to perform like that, um, if he continues to do that, if he continues to work on the, the little things, you know, throughout the year, we're going to we're gonna be a very, you know, successful team and especially explosive on offense. So it's, it's definitely good to see him come out and play like that. That's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, Coming up for this matchup against Iowa, how are you guys feeling as a whole squad? Uh, we feel good. We feel good. You know, obviously, like I said, coming off last week's game, um, you know, we really didn't need a whole lot of motivation, right? That you know, that was all the motivation we needed. Um, you know, just coming you know, off that tough loss. Um, you know, I was, you know, obviously Iowa's record wasn't the best last year, um, but we, we know what they're capable of. You know, they're one of the you know most historic you know franchises in the indoor football league. Everybody knows about the Barnstormers. Everybody knows about Kurt Warner. Um, you know, so we know that they're going to come here. They're going to give us a battle. Um, obviously, their first game, their week one, it's our week two, so it's a little different matchup there, but um, they're going to give us their off. Right? Like I said, we got them three times last year. Um, we know, you know, we know that, you know, how close this rivalry is, right? We know their head coach used to coach here. Um, you know, there's a lot of little things that go into it, um, but we're going to get their best. Um, so obviously for us to be, be able to be successful, be able to come on top, we got to bring it. Um, and like I said, we shouldn't have to need to get that much motivation, especially what happened last week. So hopefully we come out again as hot as we did last week. Um, but then obviously the main thing is to finish, finish them off this week. All right. For sure. Thank you for your time, coach. Yeah. We'll be back soon. Kickoff is next.
We welcome you inside the Rush Center here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Week two of the 2024 Indoor Football League season on the way next. It's the Iowa Barnstormers and the Green Bay Blizzard. I'm Joey Bonadonna alongside my broadcast partner, Casey Hibbard. Casey, welcome back. We had some audio problems last week, but we are uh, ready and ready to go for this matchup between Iowa and Green Bay. Obviously, it's a big one. Iowa's season opener, Green Bay looking to get back from 500 after a, a rough ending to their game last week. Yeah, rough ending for Green Bay last week, looking to bounce back. But this is the first of three matchups Green Bay is going to be going against Iowa. So we're looking to start off very strong here for a win for Green Bay. Iowa trying to come in and destroy the party here for Green Bay. Absolutely. And head coach Dave Mogensen had a long time, uh, time here in Green Bay as the offensive coordinator. Uh, he had a little bit of a, um, a time in Albany in the NAL, but since then he's been the head coach of these Iowa Barnstormers entering into his third year. He said he has a lot of respect for this organization here in Green Bay, but he's looking for his first win here at the Rush Center as a head coach in Iowa. We'll send it down to the field for the coin toss. Referee Jim Schaefer is down there. Mike, would you please step up and do the honorary coin toss? Hales is the call. It is a Tails. You have won the toss. Iowa has won the toss. Was he for the second half? Green Bay, you'd like the ball, correct? Which goal would you like to defend and kick from Iowa? You'd like to kick to the south goal? Put your backs down there, Green Bay. Your backs to the south goal. Green Bay will receive on the south goal. Good luck, man. So Green Bay going to start with possession of the football here in this one. And we saw Max Myler last week. We got a chance to talk 
to Coach Matt Barrett this week about his progression here into year two. We saw a lot of success from him early on in that season. But the mantra this week for the Blizzard is to finish. But right now he's going to look to get a good start here against this Iowa defense. Yeah, like you said, had a great game last week to start off week one against the Pirates. Just looking to continue that in week two here against the Iowa Barnstormers. Meanwhile, Iowa's defense looking to try and buck some trends from last year. They went 3-12 and last season, last in the IFL in points per game and yards per game. And we talked to Coach Mogensen this week, and he knew that he had to revamp this team on both sides of the football, especially on this defensive side. New defensive coordinator with Ansan Yarborough. And this is going to be their first chance to try and make a stop against this Blizzard defense that seemed to be firing on all cylinders again for those first three quarters of the game. It's that last quarter that they've got to finish. But here we go. Gabriel Rui set to kick this one away here for Iowa. This is fourth season here with the Barnstormers. Spent some time with Massachusetts in 2021. Finished the year with Iowa. He's been with the Barnstormers ever since. A quick run up and a squib kick fielded by Rivarius Rivers inside the 20. Rivers inside Iowa territory. So a nice field position here for the Blizzard. Vi Rivers able to play that one off the bounce. And the Blizzard are going to start with the football on the Iowa 21 yard line. Max Myler, quarterback for Green Bay. Last week, 14 of 21, 130, 43 passing yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Also was the team leader in rushing. He had three rushing touchdowns on the day as well. But he threw that game-crushing interception with two seconds left. That sealed the loss for Green Bay, looking to get off to another good start here. Myler in the shotgun, and a free play. Flags fly, and... I think Green Bay was looking for a free play off the jump, and they blew it dead. Offside, defense, number three, 93. Five-yard penalty, remains first down. So maybe by design, going with a hard count to draw the Barnstormers off sides, but only gives them five yards, first down and five coming up for Green Bay. So a little bit of an odd start. Ball be placed at the 14-yard line. And now they may correct the spot. Yeah, that ball got spotted about two yards too ahead. Will be first and five from the 16-yard line. Myler in the shotgun. Burgess splits back into the backfield. Myler sends the receivers in forward motion. Snap to Myler, a handoff to Burgess, an open hole, and Burgess inside the 10-yard line. And a first down for Green Bay on their first play from scrimmage, a first and goal set up. Good hard run there from Burgess, able to find that hole wide open for him. Gets the first down. Green Bay's red zone offense a season to go fifth. And they had a number of opportunities inside the 10-yard line last season. But again, finishing was something they struggled with, especially down the stretch. First and goal from the nine. Empty backfield currently is the look for Green Bay. Snap to Myler and a handoff to Patron, and he is leveled in the backfield. Coming in there was Caleb Brewer. The rookie out of Indiana State blowing up the play, and Blizzard going backwards again here in a goal-to-go situation. Caleb Brewer coming in there like a rocket. Makes the tackle there. So second down and goal from the 13. Coming up as everyone is split to the left side of the field. Myler sends the receivers in forward motion and takes a snap. He'll look to throw over the middle. Pass caught by Patron inside the five yard line. Third down and goal coming up from the four yard line. We saw Green Bay have success early on last week with the read option. Max Myler obviously with three rushing touchdowns. Let's see if he gets a chance to use the legs here. But Massachusetts down the stretch really put the hammer down on those option plays. 
Big play coming up here on third down. Opening drive of this one, still a nothing-nothing ball game. Third down and goal. Snap to Myler, handoff to Burgess. Off the left side, he is wrapped up and dropped. No gain on the play. Caleb Brewer again making a big-time play defensively. Fourth and goal, and the offense looks to stay out there. Here for Green Bay. Caleb Brewer seemed to be already all over the field for the Barnstormers. Looks like he's going to be making a huge impact this entire game. This was something that Iowa was successful at a season ago. Second best fourth down defense in the IFL. Myler in the shotgun, sends the receivers in forward motion, takes a snap, fakes the handoff. Myler pressures on, throws the back of the end zone and just into row D. And that ends the first drive for Green Bay, a turnover on downs inside the five yard line. Yeah, just nothing there really for Myler. Just taking his drop back, looking, just had to throw that one out of the end zone. So the return of Darius James Peterson got injured in week three of the season last year on this very field. We talked with Coach Mogensen at and a season-ending knee injury it was a quick recovery. It was fully cleared in November. A quarterback that legged the league in rushing in 2021. Coming back for year number three with the Barnstormers. Looking to revitalize this team that missed the playoffs for the first time in many years last year. Peterson hands off. He's got Washington who has a first down on their first play from scrimmage. And a little bit of pushing behind the play, but regardless... It'll be a first down. Robert Washington, first year man out of Valparaiso, up to the 15 yard line, just shaking through tackles. And finally, Nigel Canada was there to wrap him up. First down and 10 coming from the 15 yard line. Peterson in the shotgun. Washington to his left, all three receivers also to his left. Receivers going forward in motion. Snap to Peterson, a handoff to Washington. Stiff arming a man, he's still on his feet. He's looking for the first down marker, and he might have it. No official marker has been given, but it might be enough for a first down. No, they'll mark him just back inside of the 24 yard line. A little bit of jawing after the fact. But Robert Washington, 5'11", 225. He's laying waste right now to this Blizzard defense. An early second and short. Peterson, the shotgun. Three receivers all to the near side. Washington to his right. Snap to Peterson. Peterson looking deep. He's got a man. That one broken up. Nice defensive play coming in there was Kevin Ransom, third down. Yeah, Kevin Ransom in week one had three tackles, no pass breakups, gets his first one of the season right there. He will cleanly make a break on that ball. Intended receiver was Dion McShane. McShane a little local to the Iowa area, played his college ball at Northern Iowa in Cedar Falls. Third down and one from the 24. Peterson sends the receivers in forward motion, takes a snap, handoff to Washington. He has the first down a little bit more up to the 20-yard line, pickup of six. Talking to Coach Mogensen earlier in the week here, he did say that that offensive line is going to be a big part for him this season, and it's looking that like that already here in game one for them. Two returning starters to this unit on that offensive line. Tariq Bateman and Joe Bastante. In there is the left guard and center. New right guard in there is Chris Strouder. Peterson takes a snap, drops back. He's got his man. That's Trey Long, who's still on his feet inside the 15-yard line and down short of the first down marker at the 11-yard line. So right now... Iowa picking apart this zone in the underneath. And they've been able to do well with it. Not too many deep dropbacks. A 
A lot of youth on both sides, new to the indoor game. Right now the Iowa offense is driving. Second down and one from the 11. Snap to Peterson and he keeps it. He will, I believe, have enough for the first down. Near side official does, does give him the first down. And it will be a first down and goal right from that 10 yard line. Yeah, all he needed was a couple there and he really just put, put his head down, start moving those legs, got the first down. Red zone defense for Green Bay a season ago. Not too successful, 13th in the IFL. Second to last in last year and play clockers rolling down so Dave Mogensen calls his first time out. First time out, Iowa. We'll keep it right here, 7.37 left in the first quarter. And right now on this drive, Iowa is showing all the promise. Robert Washington spent time with the Philadelphia Eagles in 2022. He's a Pioneer League Offensive Player of the Year with Valparaiso. And again, Dave Mogensen said to us this week that Robert Washington is all of those 225 pounds, and he's shown it right now on this drive. Yeah, Robert Washington really using his size and just really playing some bully ball out there, using that great stiff arm on Sintel Williams earlier against the wall and able to push his feet. First down and goal here for the Barnstormers. Their offense in this region a year ago, ninth in the Indoor Football League. Peterson, the shotgun. Receivers in forward motion. Snap, Peterson, pump fake, looking for the end zone. He gets wrapped up and dropped. All three Blizzard defensive linemen closing in on Peterson in that one. Sean Mustin, Rafiq Abdul-Wahid, and Christopher Biggers in there for the Blizz. That was a huge first down stand there for the Blizzard, able to corral around, around Peterson to get the sack. Loss of six on the play, second down and goal from the 16. Empty backfield, Peterson. Takes the snap, drops back, four-man rush. Throw is caught. He's got a man, Keon Williams, and back inside that 10-yard line. A little bit of a discussion here. The ball will be marked right about the eight-yard line. So a pickup of eight on the play. Third down and goal coming up here. It looked as if they were maybe saying that he bobbled the ball a little bit, but I think he was able to corral it. And I think it was the right decision. Peterson in the shotgun, third down and goal. Snap to Peterson. He'll take off and run. He's got him wide open roll. He is into the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa Barnstormers. Looked like a busted play defensively. And Darius James Peterson, after that knee injury a season ago, comes right back to this field and on the first play, finds Pater. You know, Peterson there really showing what he can do with his legs. If he gives you, if you give him enough space, he's really gonna burn you. Gabe Rui on to attempt the point after. Fifty-five of sixty-one on extra points last season. Snap down, kick up, and it is good. Barnstorm has taken early, seven nothing lead here in Green Bay, 518 left in the first quarter. We'll step aside, we'll be right back here from Green Bay. 
Here's the security Loki Ruffian. They are Northeast Wisconsin's oldest roofing company. Our dad works there too. No one knows roofs like they do. Our dad says their commitment to excellence and to their customers is superior. They're local, they are your friends and neighbors. Buy, Buy your next, next roof from, from our dad. dad. From our dad. And for my dad. Trust Security Loop Key Riffing. People you know call 920 Riffing. Hey Blizzard fans. And let's not forget those IFL fans out there. Be sure to check out Strictly Blizzness on YouTube and social media platforms to stay up to date on Blizzard content and IFL content every week. Let's hit him with it. Go, Go Blizz! Blizz. Ain't got no choice but to lace up Every day is game day Off my third contract You still on that same play Lying harder but I got the eye of an eagle I put the city on my back Look I'm gonna ride for my people And once I take the stage I'ma start like evil Knievel I built the conquer heights My mind's a Danny DeVito And once I get my first ring I'm manifesting the sequel Yo this the IFL I swear to man become heroes of in the end oh, oh. Are you ready for that? Back from Green Bay, Blizzard about to get the football back. The Barnstormers with a score on their opening drive. And Gabe Ruiz set to kick this one away. Another line drive. It'll roll all the way back to Cagle at the five. Jalen Cagle trying to find space. Cuts back to the left. Running through tacklers up to about midfield. Cagle last week had a great day on special teams. He had five returns for 100 yards. There's a good one there for about 25 for Kaggle. First down and 10 here for Green Bay from the 25 yard line. A similar situation as to where they were. A drive a go, but again, could not finish inside the red zone. First down and 10 from the 25, Myler in the shotgun. And another offsides encroachment coming here against the Barnstormers, so attack on another five. Who goes against Chuck Manning, the nose guard up the middle. Another rookie out of Austin P and North Carolina Central. First and five coming up here for Green Bay. Snap to Myler. Pressure's on, look for the end zone. Patron wide open. Touchdown, Green Bay Blizzard. They strike right back. First play from scrimmage on the drive. What a pass there by Myler. Wide open was Low Patron in the end zone. Easy connection for six. That pressure was coming on from Ian McBurrow. Battled injuries last season. But he was closing in there on Myler, but Patron able to get back behind the defense. Beating Simeon Gatling on the play. 50 is eligible. 50 is eligible. Number 50 is eligible. That's Trent Clark this season for Green Bay. Mason Laramie on to attempt the point after. And it is good. Blizzard tie this one back up right away. And we'll head to another media timeout. We'll step aside here from Green Bay. 7-7 is our score. Want internet that keeps up with your demands? Get ready for unlimited speed. Introducing 8 gig internet from TDS so you can do all those things you love and lose all those things you don't. Get eight gig fiber internet from TDS. Make yourself, your home, your world limitless. Hey everybody, I wanna make your life 3% better. Open up a checking account at Nicolay National Bank and earn 3% cash back on purchases up to $300. Why not make money when you're spending money? Nicolay National Bank. 
Back from Green Bay, all tied up, seven apiece. 3.48 left in the first quarter. Max Myler finding Lowell Patron in the end zone, ties us back up at seven. And a good confidence booster for this Blizzard offense that stalled out in the red zone. Took a turnover on downs. Now coming back, first play on the drive from scrimmage. Putting it into the end zone. 7-7 seven, seven is our score. Mason Laramie set to kick it away for Green Bay. Back to return will be Dion McShane. And Keon Williams is the up man out in front of him. Laramie sends the signal and he runs up on this one and sends it high into the air inside the rush center. Fielded by Williams inside the 10. Keon Williams trying to find blocks and he will be wrapped up and dropped by Adrian Otero just inside the 20 yard line, but make it the 17 yard line. And that is where the Barnstormers will set up shop on their second drive of the game. Let's see if the Barnstormers and quarterback DJP can recreate what they did there on their first drive. Mixed in a lot of run and pass. Offensive line was really holding their own there. First down and 10 here for the Barnstormers from their own 17 yard line. Made quick work of Green Bay marching down the field last time. Peterson sends the receivers in forward motion, takes a snap, drops back, steps up, trying to find space, moving around, Mustin closing in and throw into the stands. Incomplete, second down and 10, Sean Mustin coming in from that nose guard position. New number 99 after his 94 was damaged last week. Closing in, he's had a lot of experience being a part of winning teams. We take a look at that one. Peterson just trying to make plays with his legs like he does often, but Mustin with the speed to close in. So second down and 10. Snap to Peterson, a handoff to Washington. Washington is gobbled up. Try to make something out of it. Gains about a couple inches, but Biggers and Mustin again in there. Third down and 10, this, was a, this is a big one. Different Green Bay defense here, it seems to look like, on this second drive, really corralling to the ball after the snap. Third down and 10. Barnstormers haven't made progress yet on this drive. Can they push forward here? Snap to Peterson, rolling, got plenty of time, pressure's coming in, Biggers closing in, Peterson still on his feet, he's clipped by Sean Steele right about the 21 yard line, fourth down, and Dave Mogensen looking to keep his offense out there, they've got a weapon in Gabe Rui, but are opting not to use it, fourth down and six, confidence in his offense here early in the season. Three receivers all to the far side. Washington the running back to his left is Peterson. Snap to Peterson and I think that's gonna be a false start. Looks like Mogensen is getting the kicking unit. So in the IFL, if you are more than a yard off the line of scrimmage when the ball is snapped, which it appeared that McShane was in that situation, it felt like there have been a few close calls on those with the short high motion that the Barnstormers have been running. And they get called for it there on third down. Rather fourth down. 
And now fourth and 11, but Gabe Rui set to kick this one away. Over 45 yards out. It is short, and it'll be fielded by Vi Rivers. Rivers just trying to find space. Now he will up the left sideline, and a big block flags down. Rivers down inside the 15. I don't know about that one. It was a close-in block. It looked like it was face-to-face, -face, but usually in those situations when you're going back to the goal line, that is where you'll get called for that blindside block. Yeah, the officials here talking about this one. Not sure if the Barnstormers player got his shoulders turned to, I think that was uh, Kevin Ransom who laid the blow talking about this one and it was a big block there's no doubt about it Jim Schaefer coming with the call And the Blizzard fans here in the Rush Center don't like it, but that's usually the call. Rule of thumb, if the blocker is going back towards the goal line, that is going to be called nine times out of 10, even though he might have gotten chest to shoulder or chest to chest. Myler. Takes the snap up the middle. He takes a big hit. Closing on that one was Victor Hampton. Hampton with a little bit of experience in the NFL. He was an undrafted free agent with Cincinnati all the way back in 2014 out of South Carolina. Trying to make a last chance to get back to the NFL or move up. Making a big hit there on first down. But that is going to send us to the end of the first quarter. Still tied up at seven. Green Bay with the football back. We'll step aside. Second down at six when we come back. Blizzard driving. take a big head and get put on the shelf see the professionals at frame family chiropractic and wellness center and get back in the game hey green bay looking for something fun enter a new world of excitement at edge vr arcade compete with your friends or go solo in one of our 100 immersive experiences ranging from exciting action-packed games relaxing exploratory quests and exhilarating vr escape rooms we have something for every age and play style Level up your next birthday or event with group games and a private party room. Explore an entirely new reality at Edge VR Arcade in Green Bay. Kiss FM. Your home for Otis, Katie, and Nick. Mornings on 95.9 Kiss FM. Back from Green Bay. Tied up 7-7 as we head into the second quarter. Blizzard starting their drive, second down and six. Right at the seven yard line. Myler in the shotgun, two receivers to the near, three receivers to the near side. Running back into the backfield. Snap to Myler, he's gonna take off and run another quarterback power. He's got the first down and into the dasher boards, driven in by McBurrow and Fritz. An interesting connection between Jefferson Fritz and Max Myler. Myler by way of UW-Whitewater. Fritz by way of Mary Harden Baylor. Two Division Three powerhouses. Those two met in the 2021 Stag Bowl semifinals with Mary Harden Baylor coming out on top in that one en route to the Stag Bowl victory. Myler handing off, Jalen Cagle 
picking up a few on the play. Fritz again in there on the tackle. You talk about Division Three football and the programs that are successful, and we talked about Dave. Mog we talked about that with Dave Mogensen. He said, you know, Whitewater and Mary Harden Baylor, Mount Union, so many others are bound to meet up with each other at some point. But just so happened that Myler and Fritz were in a collision course for a Stag Bowl championship. Myler takes a snap. He'll throw high and almost intercepted by Tyrell Pearson off the dasher boards. That one sailed on Myler. Pearson is convinced that he has an interception for a pick six, but that is not the case. And right there, off of the dasher boards, can't use the wall to make the catch. Third down and eight. Big third down here for the Blizzard, looking to connect. Let's see if they go through the air here. Third down and eight, closing on the 13 minute mark here in the second quarter. Receivers in forward motion and whistles coming in here. And play clock is rolling down. I think a timeout was called by Green Bay. We'll keep it right here. Third down and eight coming up here for Green Bay. This is kind of one of the first times that they haven't had to have uh, a long field. They started back inside their own five. Now currently sit at the 16-yard line. It's kind of a blessing and a curse when you have this amount of field to work with, but this is a one of the longer third downs they've had to deal with all day. Myler was nearly picked off on that second down. Pearson mishandling it into the dasher boards for an incomplete pass. Now they get another opportunity here on third. Snap to Myler. He drops back. Quick throw. Patron high points it, and he brings it down. Tough catch for Lowell Patron. He took a beating midair, but he comes up with that one. And that is a huge conversion for Green Bay. Lowell Patron already showing what he did last week. Four catches for 52 yards and a touchdown. Already has two big catches here for the Blizzard. Has the Blizzard lone touchdown on the evening. And a big one to move the chains on third down. Now a first and 10 coming from the 17-yard line of Iowa. Receivers in forward motion, snap to Myler. He's going to take off, but that gap immediately blown up as Chuck Manning and company were in there. A loss on the play. Myler looking to find a seam. There was just nothing. It got clogged up immediately by Chuck Manning and company. And Manning with great, great gap integrity to get back to the left shade of Clark. Next home game for the Blizzard against the Sioux Falls Storm. Right now looking to close this one out. Second down and 12. Snap to Myler. Standing strong in the pocket. He's got Patron, another high throw on Patron. Maybe trying to lead him into the end zone, but it skips into the end zone and out of bounds. Third down and 12, another big one. Here for Blizz. Third down and 12, under 11 minutes to go here in the first half. Myler sends the receivers in forward motion, takes a snap and a fake handoff to Cagle. Shot to the end zone, Harry Ballard can't haul it in, incomplete. Right off his chest, nicely played there by Simeon Gatling. The second year man out of Bowie State. Was with Arizona last year. Breaking that one up at the last minute. 
So Mason Laramie on to attempt the field goal. This one gonna be placed right on that field ad, which is always tough to kick off of. This one gonna be placed from about 35 yards out. Laramie last week went 0 for 3 on field goals. Let's see if he can knock the first one through here. Max Myler, the holder, and whistles and a flag. This one might be coming against Green Bay. So Desmond Thomas, the guilty party, which does move him off the field ad. At least kind of, it moves him back to another. Make this one a 37 yarder for Laramie. Myler again, still the holder. Snap down, a bobble snap, he gets it down. It is blocked. Still loose. And picked up by Green Bay. And a discussion here, but a change of possession. Going back to Iowa, that bobbled snap. Gave time for that hole to open up. And Green Bay now one of three on scoring in their first three drives. So Iowa's gonna get the football at their own 23 yard line. I I, I couldn't quite tell. I think Jim Schaefer gave it a little bit, gave us a little bit of a Brian Balaga, Iowa. I can't really do the Brian Balaga impression too well. But Iowa getting the football back at their own 23 yard line after the block field goal. Snap to Peterson, fake pitch out and a pass behind. Keon Williams, the intended target, third, second down. Coming up for the Barnstormers, they've and struggling to move the ball on their on last drive. And now to start this one, Green Bay's defense now starting to lock in. Second down and 10. Peterson drops back, stepping up. Flag flies. Pearson cutting back to the inside. He's brought down by Otero. Otero makes a stop of And we'll check in on that flag. So back up the Barnstormers. Now there's the correct score, 7-7. Seven, seven. I was a little, trying to figure that one out. It said 10-7 on the scoreboard. Rui had missed the field goal on the last drive. So a long second down here for the Barnstormers. Peterson takes a snap and fakes the handoff. Peterson still on his feet, breaking tackles, trying to get those yardage back. Gets back up inside the 20. Still going to be a long third down here. Peterson there showing off what he can do with his legs. Making a couple men miss. 
but then eventually getting brought down at the 20 yard line. Third down and about 13, under eight minutes to go. The rush is rocking. Fans getting on their feet here. A big third down here for the Blizzard defense. Snap to Peterson, drops back. Dump off to Washington. He's gonna try to find a nose for the first down and he comes close. Spot has him at the 19 yard line. First down is at the 17, so fourth and two. You got to think the offense is staying out there. A pickup of 10 on that dump off to Washington. The offense staying out there so far. Big fourth down here for the Barnstormers. Fourth and three and whistles. Timeout called by the Barnstormers. And again, a crucial point in the game. As you approach the last few minutes of the first half, I was going to get the football back to start the second half. So a big opportunity to take advantage but still a lot of time left in this quarter. Appears no movement from the Barnstormers sideline on whether Gabe Rui is gonna come out to attempt it, so we're gonna stay here. Offense out here, fourth down and two at the 17, rather than 19 yard line, the first down is at the 17. If you're Green Bay here, you wanna make sure you keep Robinson in the, or Peterson in the pocket. Peterson takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Pump fakes, rolling out. Peterson still on his feet, jukes a man still. DJP, he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa Barnstormers. Second rushing touchdown on the day for Darius James Peterson. just when the blizzard thought they had them all but wrapped up. Number four on fourth down, scoots his way on into the end zone and the Barnstormers back on top, 13 to seven. Just as when you thought the blizzard had him, he said, no sir, and strolled right into the end zone. Rui on to attempt the extra point. Snap down, kick up, and off the upright. Is it in? No signal yet. It is good. Sends us to immediate timeout. 14-7, Iowa back on top. We'll step aside here in Green Bay. Thanks for watching the game on YouTube. If you're curious about what it takes to run an IFL team, join us on YouTube and the Blizzard social media channels for Strictly Blizzness. You might get some behind the scenes information on both the Blizzard and the IFL, probably before we should be talking about it. True statement. Should we hit him with it? Let's hit him with it. Go, Go Blizz. Blizz. Refresh your senses with a kick of citrus flavor. Do the do. Nicolet Bank will pay you up to $9 a month for debit card transactions. Other banks charge you $15 to simply have a checking account. Get $9, pay $15. The decision's easy. Get your checking account opened at Nicolet National Bank. Kiss FM. Your home for Otis, Katie, and Nick. Mornings on 95.9 KISS FM. 
back here in Green Bay. Barnstormers reclaiming the lead. Six minutes left in this first half. 14-7 is our score. Gabe Rui getting set to kick this one away. And a squib kick will be fielded by, by Rivers again. Rivers inside the 20-yard line. And another short field coming off those squib kicks from Rui. Can the Blizzard offense take advantage? We saw when they went down last time, Myler found Patron on a deep shot. Now you got about 18 yards of real estate to work with. Can they strike again? Myler sends the receivers in forward motion and takes a snap. He tries to find a man incomplete. He's going for Jalen Cagle, the running back who is out running a route. A little short. And Cagle couldn't haul it in. We'll get another look here. Yeah, you see they're just out of the reach for Cagle, not able to bring it in there. Try to put it where only Cagle could get it, but alas, he couldn't. Second down and 10, Myler fakes the handoff, and Myler fakes everyone. He is gone, Max Myler. Another rushing touchdown for Max Myler, and these quarterbacks exchanging big plays. Max Myler there pulling a Houdini. The defense did not even see that he had the ball and he just walks in for a touchdown. Probably one of the easiest touchdowns that Max Myler might have in his career. Arthur Randall bit on the fake hard. And the Blizzard are now an extra point away from tying this one up. Laramie made his first one, trying to go two for two. And that one is waiting for the signal after the pushing and shoving. Good. Another media timeout here in Green Bay. Blizzard tie it back up. 4.09 left in the first half. We'll step aside, be right back here from the rest center. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. Back in Green Bay, all tied up again, 14 apiece. 4.09 left in the first half. And anytime someone strikes, the other responds, whether it be with a stop with a stop, a score with a score. Get the sense we're in for a fun one here on this Saturday night. Laramie signals and kicks this one high. He fielded in the end zone by Dion McShane. McShane up the middle, takes a hit, dropped. That's Ravarius Rivers and Jalen Cagle coming in there to make the play on special teams. And McShane is dropped at the 14. Cagle and Rivers coming in like a bullet on special teams. Able to make a terrific tackle. Set up a long field for the Barnstormers. Barnstormers have scored two touchdowns, both on the legs of Darius James Peterson. And again, the story of DJP, how he had a second season taken from him with an injury right on this very field, now making his first start back. 
Again, a return to Green Bay. And he's making two big plays so far on this one. Peterson takes a snap, throws over the middle, incomplete. Skipped it in there to Keon Williams. Second and 10. Sean Steele all over that one. Had one pass break up in week one. Showing that grit on the defensive end here in week two. Second down coming up back inside their own 15. Empty backfield here for the Barnstormers. Two receivers to the near side, two to the far. Peterson hands it off and he keeps it. Had me fooled, had the Blizzard defense fooled and looks like he's got enough for a first down waiting for the official signal. It's third down and very short. You saw on that play, Williams kind of just getting buried by the double. And Peterson had a hole to run, third down and inches. Snap to Peterson and a handoff. Washington has the first down a little bit more inside Green Bay territory, short of the 20 yard line, but well enough for a first down. Yeah, Washington, they're staying heavy here on the ground with Peterson and Washington, both having a lot of carries here early in the second or in the first half. Iowa with one timeout, one minute warning still in front of them. See if they try to hold on to this football for the rest of the half. But again, with that one minute warning and those timing rules makes it that much more difficult. Peterson sends the receivers in forward motion, takes a snap and throws. He's got Wilson for a gain of about four or five on the play. Darren Wilson, another guy, played his ball close to Des Moines. About half an hour up the road at Iowa State. Nice big target, and Peterson was able to find him on that easy hitch. Otero with the tackle. Second down and five. Coming from the 18 yard line, Peterson takes the snap. Short drop back, looking for the end zone. Broken up, almost intercepted by Vi Rivers. That one probably should have been. And that takes us to the one minute warning here in Green Bay. All tied up at 14. And the Barnstormers push through. We'll step aside here in Green Bay. Hey Green Bay, looking for something fun? Enter a new world of excitement at Edge VR Arcade. Compete with your friends or go solo in one of our 100 immersive experiences, ranging from exciting action-packed games, relaxing exploratory quests, and exhilarating VR escape rooms. We have something for every age and play style. Level up your next birthday or event with group games and a private party room. Explore an entirely new reality at Edge VR Arcade in Green Bay. Nicolay National Bank will pay you up to $9 a month on our cash back checking. Young lady, that popcorn you're eating, that's free. That soda you're having, sir, that's on Nicolay Bank. It's time to open up your checking account at Nicolay National Bank. Hey, Blizzard fans. And let's not forget those IFL fans out there. Be sure to check out Strictly Blizzness on YouTube and social media platforms to stay up to date on Blizzard content and IFL content every week. Let's hit them with it. Go, Go Blizz. Blizz. Back here in Green Bay, one minute warning has come and gone. Third down and five coming up for the Iowa Barnstormers. Mercifully, because that last play before the one minute warning probably should have been an interception by Vi Rivers. Tied for the team lead a season ago with his teammate Sean Steele. Third down and five. One minute to go here in this first half. 
Snap to Peterson. Short drop back. Steps up, dumps off for Washington. Washington look for the first down, trying to squirm his way forward. They're going to say fourth down. Washington, they're not able to get enough. Looks like it's going to be a... Uh, a yard time. short. Peterson, or excuse me, Roberson calling a timeout for Green Bay. Yeah, he was hot looking for that timeout, so a few extra seconds added on, about 4.2. And again, another big fourth down coming up. And, you know, in these short distance situations, you saw what Green Bay did last week against Benefield and Robinson, but now they're dealing with Darius James Peterson and Robert Washington. And these two guys, we know what DJP can do with his legs, but the size of Robert Washington has really given the Green Bay defense fits so far. Can they lock in for one more stop and try and get this football back? With under a minute to go. Fourth and one with 52 seconds left. Peterson. Takes the snap. Looking for a speed option. He might not get there. And no, last effort push gives him the first down. Peterson keeping the legs churning. Has the first down. Stops the clock at 47.4. Looked like Peterson there was stopped at first. But he kept the legs moving. Able to pick up the first down. First and 10 from the 12. Clock now running under 35 seconds in the half. Snap to Peterson. Looking deflected and falling incomplete. Clock stops at 21 and a half seconds. And Peterson listed at 5'11". One of the shorter quarterbacks out there. Those defensive linemen can make plays and try to knock it out of the air. Still. Almost a spectacular catch off of the deflection by Keon Williams. But nonetheless, stays at second down and 10. Let's see if Peterson here can use his legs. Looks like they're going to call a timeout. That's going to be their last one. Looked like Peterson didn't like what he saw. Looking back at Coach Mogensen, calls a timeout. Under 30 seconds to go. Here in half number one. Again, Iowa getting the football to start the second half. So to be able to put points up on the board, it would be a big deal. Again, that opportunity to control the middle third of the game. Put yourself in the best of position. Try and win this game. Tied up 14 apiece. Late first half. Peterson in the shotgun, second down and 10. Ball spotted at the 12-yard line. Peterson fakes the pitch out. Pressure coming in. He's got his man Wilson who takes a big hit from Sintel Williams and the clock continuing to run inside 20 seconds now. Ball will be placed at the 10 yard line. And Peterson might just clock this and he will. Looking back on that last play, Sintel Williams with a huge hit for the blizzard. He led the team in tackles last week with 10. And now with Wilson not being able to get out of bounds to stop the clock, 
that wastes a down for the Barnstormers, and Gabe Rui is going to have to come out and kick a field goal. And he has the leg to make it from anywhere on the field, but I'm sure that they would have loved to try and get a shot at the end zone. Rui from about 25 yards out. Timeout called by Coach Roberson. Rui drills it, but a timeout call. Coach Mogensen wasn't happy with how close they got. With that called timeout, looking for an explanation from Jim Schaefer, does not get one that he liked. But now both teams with no timeouts, an attempt to ice Gabe Rui, which does not really happen too often. Like you said, Rui able to hit it from basically anywhere on the field. This really just a chip shot for him. Again from 25 yards out. Gabriel Rui to put the Barnstormers up three. Snap down, kick on the way. It is good. 5.7 left in the half. And the Barnstormers are going to take the lead at least for the time being, going in to the half. The Blizzard, on the way to check out the Blizzard here looking for a huge return out of Kegel. Rui has been squibbing every single one though, so maybe Rivers will have the chance to take this one back. You don't necessarily have to take it back if you can just field it and get down, give Laramie a chance to kick a field goal. I'm sure if you're Gabe Rui, you've been doing those squibs often in this one, but I get the sense that he might try to sky one here. Just play the field position battle. Again, the next home game for Green Bay. It's gonna be kids night, always a fun atmosphere. Less than a month ago or so, Rui is going to sky it, and he skies it into the scoreboard. Kick off hit the scoreboard. By rule, the ball be placed at the 20 yard line. First and 10 three big. So that might also be to their advantage because this is still going to be a decently long kick. And I think the offense is going to go out there with a chance to. Either try to get more yards off of it or try to go for the end zone. 5.7 left. No timeouts again because Coach Roberson tried to ice Gabriel Rui unsuccessful in doing so. Let's see what Myler and the Blizzard offense can do. Snap to Myler. A quick throw over the head of Patron and into the stands, 2.8 left. And the field goal unit coming out with Mason Laramie. Huge chance here for the Blizzard to tie it up before halftime to knot it all up at 17. This is gonna be a pretty long one for IFL standards. It's going to be a 40-yard field goal coming here for Mason Laramie. as first attempt blocked. Last play of the half. Snap down, kick on its way. No good. Some fans in the stands thinking it might have gone through. It had the leg, just not the accuracy, and that is how the first half comes to an end. 17-14, Iowa with the lead. They'll get the ball to start the second half. We'll be back here in the second half 
Again, Iowa leading 17 to 14 over Green Bay. Want internet that keeps up with your demands? Get ready for unlimited speed. Introducing eight gig internet from TDS. So you can do all those things you love and lose all those things you don't. Get eight gig fiber internet from TDS. Make yourself, your home, your world limitless. Thanks for watching the game on YouTube. If you're curious about what it takes to run an IFL team, join us on YouTube and the Blizzard social media channels for Strictly Blizzness. You might get some behind the scenes information on both the Blizzard and the IFL, probably before we should be talking about it. True statement. Should we hit him with it? Let's hit him with it. Go, Go Blizz. Blizz. Hey everybody, I want to make your life 3% better. Open up a checking account at Nicolay National Bank and earn 3% cash back on purchases up to $300. Why not make money when you're spending money? Nicolay National Bank. I think there's an old slogan that says that chiropractic selects you and that you don't actually select that as a profession. This just felt like such a natural fit to me when I started meeting other chiropractors because I liked the family aspect of it. I think the more that you know your patients and the more you know, you know what they're all about, the better we can serve them. The thing about our office is we're looking to help you feel better. Yes, that's a big part, but I wanna know why you have pain. I wanna know the cause of your pain and discomfort. So we dig deep on that initial exam. We find out exactly why your pain is there. Where is it coming from? And from there, we can determine the best route to fix the cause of the problem, not just make you feel better, but actually fix the cause so you don't have to keep coming back over and over with the same problem. We're really proud of the fact that so many of our patients have left other practices that they've been with and they come here and they tell us that this is a total different patient experience. And that starts from the minute they walk in the door. I think it's about hiring the right staff and having a staff here that just absolutely cares about those patients and really values them, not only just for their appointment time, but for everything. It's just all about the total experience for them where they're not only here for an adjustment, but they're actually here for whole body health. And when you take care of a person as a whole, that's when you can actually make a really positive impact in their life that extends way beyond their aches and pains. Hey Green Bay, looking for something fun? Enter a new world of excitement at Edge VR Arcade Compete with your friends or go solo in one of our 100 immersive experiences, ranging from exciting action-packed games, relaxing exploratory quests, and exhilarating VR escape rooms. We have something for every age and play style. Level up your next birthday or event with group games and a private party room. Explore an entirely new reality at Edge VR Arcade in Green Bay. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. Our dad works for Security Lukey Ruffian. They're Northeast Wisconsin's oldest roofing company. Our dad works there too. No one knows roofs like they do. Our dad says their commitment to excellence and to their customers is superior. They're local, they are your friends and neighbors. Buy your next roof from our dad. From our dad. And from my dad. Trust Security Lukey Roofing. People you know call 920 Roofing. Kiss FM. Your 
home for Otis, Katie, and Nick. Mornings on 95.9 KISS FM. Feeling lost in the marketing maze? At Creative Edge, we cut through the online clutter and get real results for your business. We decode who your audience is and what they want. No more mysteries, just pure engagement. From concept to clicks, our team is the perfect recipe for marketing magic. No boring campaigns allowed. Here's our secret formula. We blend campaign strategies so personalized, it's like we're stalking your customers' dreams in a totally non-creepy way, of course. Mix that with in-house Hollywood-level video production and boom! Ads that convert browsers into buyers. We've got a fan club with hundreds of ecstatic clients. So happy, they're practically doing cartwheels to the bank. We've cracked the code to profitable digital marketing, turning their businesses into cash cows. And we want you to join the club, where success is our specialty and cartwheels are totally optional. So if you're ready to break the internet without breaking the bank, Choose Creative Edge. Lights, camera, real results. I'm here with Blizzard defensive back, Ravarius Rivers. Ravarius, this is your second year here. How does it feel being back in Green Bay? Well, it feels awesome being back here in Green Bay. Uh, I love the family feel that Green Bay has to offer. Uh, the weather, you know, is a little bit uh, something I could pass on, but you know, just being back here in the Green Bay community, uh, being a blizzard, you know, it's awesome. So I wouldn't trade it for anything. That's awesome. And then I know last week you had a great game. You had um, six and a half total tackles. You had one pass breakup, close interception there yeah. in the end zone. I know you're a little upset about that one. How eager are you to get the first one this year? Uh, I'm real eager. I'm hairs on fire thinking about it, you know. So uh, I think my game is elevated, you know, a lot from last year. I think I'll be able to contribute a lot more, you know, be a lot more uh, consistent and stuff now that I got my feet wet in the IFL. So I think um, it's going to be some great things coming for myself this year as well from the rest of the team. Awesome. And then lastly, if there is any player out there in the NFL, past or present, that you think you represent your game after, who do you think that is? Uh, that's an easy one. Uh, Sean Taylor. All right, awesome. All right, thank you. That's defense, um, Blizzard defensive back Ravarius Rivers. Thanks for watching the game on YouTube. If you're curious about what it takes to run an IFL team, join us on YouTube and the Blizzard social media channels for Strictly Blizzness. You might get some behind the scenes information on both the Blizzard and the IFL, probably before we should be talking about it. True statement. Should we hit him with it? Let's hit him with it. Go, Go Blizz. Blizz. Hey Green Bay, looking for something fun? 
Enter a new world of excitement at Edge VR Arcade. Compete with your friends or go solo in one of our 100 immersive experiences, ranging from exciting action-packed games, relaxing exploratory quests, and exhilarating VR escape rooms. We have something for every age and play style. Level up your next birthday or event with group games and a private party room. Explore an entirely new reality at Edge VR Arcade in Green Bay. Grab a Pepsi Wild Cherry and get wild. Kiss FM. Your home for Otis, Katie, and Nick. Mornings on 95.9 Kiss FM. My dad has been roofing at Security Loop Key Roofing for over 20 years. And my dad says nobody has a better service department. Our dad says that nobody has a higher standard than they do. They're local. They're your friends and neighbors. Have our dad replace your next roof. Have my dad fix your next leak. Have, Have our, our dad, dad make sure, sure it's perfect. perfect. Trust Security Lip Key Roofing. People you know call 920 Roofing. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. Back here in Green Bay, 17-14 is our halftime score. The Iowa Barnstormers leaders in this one, and they get the ball to start the second half. First talking about Iowa, how about the performance of Darius James Peterson? Uh, not only through the air, but on the ground as well. We look at his stats offensively. And he's had seven carries, 50 yards, two touchdowns, coming off of a knee injury on this very field last season. Yeah, Peterson, unbelievable second half there. Just really showing you what he can do with his legs. Made a lot of men miss. That last touchdown that he had, I think he had about made four Blizzard players miss before he trotted into the end zone. He's looking to keep that going in the second half here. Now we look over at Max Myler offensively for Green Bay. He's struggled through the air, three of nine on the day. 46 yards, one touchdown. All three of those receptions going to Lowell Patron. No one else really emerging as a, a target for the Blizzard. And something they might struggle with early on in this season. But it really has been the Lowell Patron show if you're looking in terms of playmakers for this Blizzard offense. Yeah, Patron having a great first half. The Blizzard, I think they need to get more players involved. Obviously, Patron taking a heavy workload in the first half. 
Myler is going to look to spread the ball around more here in the second half. And we've seen Myler on the ground as well as Peterson. Myler, three carries, 29 yards, one touchdown. He had that long touchdown on the keeper that had everyone on the Iowa defense fooled. Speaking of defense, Adrian Otero, the leading tackler for Green Bay, and with five tackles in Jefferson Fritz, similar spot, five tackles leading Iowa. So uh, two, two guys with five tackles defensively for Green Bay. Let's take a look at the team stats for both sides. Talking about where Green Bay's been successful, and that is, at least offensively, we saw what they were able to do on third and fourth down last year. They're one of three on third down and 0 of one on fourth down in this game. Haven't really had to be in those situations too much in this game, but they've struggled to pick up those conversions when they really need to. Something that they've got to fix in the second half on offense. Yeah, absolutely. That's something they really need to fix. Especially you look back last week at Massachusetts um, when Massachusetts was here at the Rush Center. It just, Green Bay had a struggle to finish the game. They were up a lot to going in the second half, and they just really struggled to finish the game out on top. That's something now they're playing from behind, looking to come out on top with a win here against the Barnstormers. And again, that was the word that we heard from everyone within the Blizzard organization this week finish last week it was compete they showed that this week it's finish and right now they find themselves down by three points going into the second half not in insur insurmountable lead to come back from but you're going to really need some timely stops and some responses from your offense as well first starting off here with how the first drive is going to go here for uh the barnstormers uh they're going to trot their offense back out there get another opportunity to get things going again. And outside of that, uh, Green Bay is gonna really need to stop if they wanna stay in this ball game. Uh, we're gonna quickly step aside, come back for the start of the second half. We'll be right back here from Green Bay. Thanks for watching the game on YouTube. If you're curious about what it takes to run an IFL team, join us on YouTube and the Blizzard social media channels for Strictly Blizzness. You might get some behind the scenes information on both the Blizzard and the IFL. Probably before we should be talking about it. True statement. Should we hit them with it? Let's hit them with it. Go, Go Blizz. Blizz. Hey Green Bay, looking for something fun? Enter a new world of excitement at Edge VR Arcade. Compete with your friends or go solo in one of our 100 immersive experiences, ranging from exciting action-packed games, relaxing exploratory quests, and exhilarating VR escape rooms. We have something for every age and play style. Level up your next birthday or event with group games and a private party room. Explore an entirely new reality at Edge VR Arcade in Green Bay. Wild Jerry and get wild. Kiss FM. I love it when you do it like that. And when you're your home for Otis, Katie, and Nick. Mornings on 95.9 Kiss FM. My dad has been roofing at Security Loop Key Roofing for over 20 years. And my dad says nobody has a better service department. Our dad says that nobody has a higher standard than they do. They're local. They're your friends and neighbors. Have our dad replace your next roof. Have my dad fix your next leak. Have, Have our, our dad, dad make sure, sure it's perfect. perfect. Trust Security Libkey Roofing. People you know call 920 Roofing. Game. Back here in Green Bay, 17-14, Iowa with the lead. We take a look at some first half highlights. And right now, Green Bay, defensively, they've shown some promise in the passing game. They've been able to get in between those passing lanes. It's just this run game with Darius James Peterson and Robert Washington is giving them some serious fits right now. And that's something that they're going to have to fix going forward because they're not going to go and go away anytime soon. Yeah, the Blizzard really need to figure out the Barnstormers run game. 
And that really just starts with DJP and containing him from a busted play. A lot of times he's able to find some space when he, when he can't see a receiver downfield and is able to find a gap and get some yards. That's something the Blizzard are going to have to fix here in the second half. Getting ready to kick off here from the rest center. It's going to be Mason Laramie to kick this one away. Finished the half with a missed field goal that would have tied the game. But right now, Blizzard are staring at a three-point deficit in need of a stop. All starts here on special teams. Can they win the field position battle? Mason Laramie ready to kick this one away. Dion McShane and Keon Williams back to return. Laramie gives the signal. And he sends this one high into the air, fielded by McShane in the back of the end zone. McShane looking for blocks, cuts up the left side, takes a hit from Rivers, and is brought down right about the 14-yard line. That is where Iowa will start on offense. First drive here for Iowa in the second half. Let's see what the Blizzard can do defensively to slow them down. DJP, we saw what he was able to do with his legs in that first half. Can he keep it up here in half number two? Second half underway here from the rush center. 17-14, Iowa with the lead. Snap to Peterson, a handoff to Washington. Washington stiff arms Otero. Washington still going, and he's brought into the dasher board but he was off to the races. And a first down on the first play from scrimmage. Washington starting where he left off in the, first, in the second half, rather, just using those legs, that power, that 220 of all to pick up the first down. First down and 10, ball spotted right at midfield. A nice crowd coming out here to the rest center on this Saturday night, week two of the 2024 Indoor Football League season. As Peterson appearing to audible here at the line of scrimmage and a timeout, but a flag, what comes first? Peterson, it seemed to not be aware of the play clock rolling down. Officials are gonna talk about this one. Let's see. Did Mogensen get the timeout time out off in time? Looks like they're going to move him back. So a timeout, not off in time. Backs him up five. Yeah, talk about a little bit of uh, where that costs you. It might cost you five yards now, but that's a timeout that you might not get back down the stretch that it might be helpful. First down and 15 coming from the 20-yard line. Peterson takes a snap, short drop back, looking deep. He's got a man open, and a first down inside the red zone. It's Keon Williams. And we have a barnstormer down. It's Trey Long, very slow to get up. He's holding his left leg. And quickly, Iowa inside the red zone, but now the attention turns to Trey Long for Iowa. Trainers tending to him, will step aside. Early on here in the third quarter, Iowa leading 17 to 14 in the red zone. We'll be right back here from Green Bay. Our dad works for Security Lukey Ruffin. They are Northeast Wisconsin's oldest roofing company. Our dad works there too. No one knows roofs like they do. Our dad says their commitment to excellence and to their customers is superior. They're local, they are your friends and neighbors. 
Buy your next roof from our dad. From our dad. And from my dad. Trust Security Loop Key Roofing. People you know call 920 Roofing. Hey, Blizzard fans. And let's not forget those IFL fans out there. Be sure to check out Strictly Business on YouTube and social media platforms to stay up to date on Blizzard content and IFL content every week. Let's hit them with it. Go, Go Blizz! Blizz. Trey Long being helped off the field. He's able to walk off under his own power. Had to be helped up. But first down and goal here for the Barnstormers. An opportunity to potentially bust this one open and go up by two scores early on in this second half. Still a lot of time in this game. But the way these two teams have been playing, one team getting a leg up by two scores might be huge. Peterson. Hands off to Washington. Washington still running, looking for the end zone. He is short by about a yard. The Blizzard there really struggling to wrap up Washington. He just keeps moving, gets down, I think at the one yard line they're gonna place him. A lot of leg tackles not being able to wrap up. Second down and goal from the one. They turned aside Massachusetts last week, but this is a different matchup right now. Power on power, who wins? Right now, Iowa's been winning. Play clock rolling down quickly. Peterson gonna line up under center, under three on the play clock. Snap, Peterson, he's in. Touchdown, Iowa Barnstormers. Three touchdowns for Iowa, all three coming on the legs of DJP. DJP here still staying strong going into the second half. Third touchdown of the day puts Iowa up 23 to 14. Let's see if Rui can make the extra point. Barnstormers starting to pull away and now the pressure mounting on Green Bay. Rui on to attempt the point after. Snap down, kick up, good. And the Barnstormers now have a double digit lead, 24 to 14. They'll send us to a media timeout. We'll step aside here from Green Bay. 24 14, Joey Bonadonna alongside Casey Hibbard here from the Rest Center. We'll be right back here with Indoor Football League action. Want internet that keeps up with your demands? Get ready for unlimited speed. Introducing 8 gig internet from TDS. So you can do all those things you love and lose all those things you don't. Get 8 gig fiber internet from TDS. Make yourself, your home, your world limitless. Hey everybody, I wanna make your life 3% better. Open up a checking account at Nicolay National Bank and earn 3% cash back on purchases up to $300. Why not make money when you're spending money? Nicolay National Bank. Kiss FM. Your home for Otis, Katie, and Nick. Mornings on 95.9 Kiss. Back here from Green Bay. And a quick kick from Rui. It's gonna roll and be fielded by Cagle at the 10. Cagle up the left sideline, he's got space. Jalen Cagle, one man to beat, he is gone! Quick response, Jalen Cagle, touchdown Blizzard. What a response from Jalen Cagle and the Blizzard. Little squib kick by Rui, he was able to field it. Found that one seam he needed and he was gone. Blizzard make this one a one score game. And we
we've said every time that Iowa has jumped out, Green Bay has responded. And just like that, this is back to a four-point game. Mason Laramie trying to make it three. Snap down, kick is up, and it is good. Sends us to another media timeout here in Green Bay. 10.35 left in the third quarter, 24 to 21. Blizzard chipping away. We'll be right back here from Green Bay. Our dad works for Security Lukey Ruffin. They are Northeast Wisconsin's oldest roofing company. Our dad works there too. No one knows roofs like they do. Our dad says their commitment to excellence and to their customers is superior. They're local, they are your friends and neighbors. Buy, Buy your next roof from our dad. From our dad. And from my dad. Trust Security Loop Key Roofing. People you know call 920 Roofing. Hey Blizzard fans. And let's not forget those IFL fans out there. Be sure to check out Strictly Blizzness on YouTube and social media platforms to stay up to date on Blizzard content and IFL content every week. Let's hit them with it. Go, Go Blizz! Blizz. Back here in Green Bay, Blizzard quickly responding against these Iowa Barnstormers, 24-21. A touchdown and an extra point, back within three. Now can the defense get a stop? And again, starts with the leg of Mason Laramie. Kicking this one away, McShane and Williams back to return. Laramie signals this one high and hits the scoreboard. So first time that the Blizzard have hit the scoreboard in this one or out of play. So the ball comes up to the 20 yard line. And that, yeah, I, 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 I thought I, I heard that the first time, but Jim Schaefer is going for that Brian Balaga, Iowa. Give him a little bit of that Iowa draw there. First and 10 coming from the 20-yard line. So the Barnstormers will set up shop. They've done a really good job of putting together long drives and ending in the end zone. These first couple of downs dictate how the drive will go. A fake handoff, Peterson up the middle, spinning away from tacklers, still driving short of the first down, but a pickup of nine on the play. Darius James Peterson. He's done so much with his legs. Led the league in rushing, not just quarterbacks, the entire league in rushing two seasons ago. Last year with the knee injury, he has shown no signs of slowing down here in season number three. Looking to try to lead Iowa to an early win at Green Bay. A huge one in the Eastern Conference. Snap to Peterson. Hand off to Washington. Another big hole on that right side. And a big first down for the Barnstormers down to the 14-yard line. Green Bay here still trying to figure out Iowa's run game. Going to have to figure out something quick here halfway through the third quarter. First down and 10 from the 14. And once you get DJP and Washington running downhill, it becomes harder and harder to stop. Will they keep going that direction? Peterson keeps it, trying to follow his blockers, and he goes down, perhaps stumbling. Pickup of one, Steele came in to clean it up. He was trying to follow Washington as a blocker, but Ball's down in the process. Steele there making the tackle. He had a big interception in week one for the Blizzard. 
looking to maybe come up with another big one here. Will Iowa go through the air? Will they keep it on the ground? Second down and nine, fake pitch out. It is a throw. Peterson throws it out of bounds. And it made it back to the line of scrimmage. No intentional grounding. Man in the area. Regardless, it's third down. Sean Mustin there, able to get to DJP and create that pressure. Big third down. We've seen Iowa be confident in their offense and keep them out there on fourth down. But can they skirt the line here on third down? Snap to Peterson, throw to the outside, caught by Wilson into the dasher board for progress. Stopped it about the eight yard line. And I think the offense is gonna stay out there again. Fourth down and five. Ball spotted at the nine. And the blizzard get a stop. A huge pivotal moment in this one. Play clock rolling under 15. Five on the play clock, fourth down and five. Snap to Peterson, drops back, looking for the end zone. Broken up, incomplete. Sean Steele forces a turnover on downs. And the Blizzard offense back on the field, only down three. Terrific defense there by Sean Steele. He just stuck with them like glue the entire way, able to break that one up. Blizzard take over. Ball placed at their own nine yard line. Again, Green Bay has benefited from having short fields all day. Can they put together a drive that is the length of the field to try and tie or take the lead here closing in the later stages in the third quarter? Three receivers all stacked to the right side. Myler sends two and forward motion. Takes a snap and drops back, looking for a shot. Myler winds up, intercepted. Tyrell Pearson going the other way. He's tripped up, and just like that, the drive comes to an end as Tyrell Pearson, the former Green Bay Blizzard, comes through with an interception and the momentum that the Blizzard just had dissipates quickly. You see on the replay here, Pearson read that one the entire way. Saw the ball in the air, high pointed it, able to pick off Myler. And Myler might have stared down his target a little too long. And Pearson, a veteran, he's been in this league since 2018. It was his rookie year here in Green Bay. In 2017, 2018, he won a championship with Iowa and now flags fly. Waiting for an explanation here from Jim Schaefer and Iowa, they don't seem too happy with what. Waiting for an answer. Mogensen does not look happy on the Iowa sideline. It's a long discussion. I did notice that Tyrell Pearson did not give the ball back to the official and with the road team, you are not allowed to keep a ball or throw a ball in the stands. Let's hear our answer here from Jim Schaefer. Or he'll talk with Dave Mogensen for a little bit. They are moving Iowa back. Delay of game. Number seven, taking the ball off the field, not returning it to the official. By rule, the visiting team cannot do that. It's going to be a five-yard penalty. It's going to be first and ten, Iowa. So that is the call. Pearson 
One of the visiting players not allowed to keep the ball when leaving the field of play. And that backs the Barnstormers up five. Peterson looking. He's going to fire across the middle. That one tipped. A flag comes in from the secondary. This one might be coming against Green Bay. It came from that back judge. Corey Roberson doesn't seem happy with it. Corey Roberson looking for an explanation. And now this becomes a first down and five because the chains reset. So it wasn't a first and 15 before, it just backed them up. And so now it's a first and five from the original line of scrimmage, five yards to go for a first down. Peterson hands off. Washington picks up about two or three on the play. Second down and three coming up. And now Rafiq Abdul-Wahid is down. Rafiq Abdul-Wahid last week battling through an injury, was able to play the entire game, but now gets banged up on this play. So another injury timeout. The Blizzard only dressing three linemen today on the defensive side of the football. He's going to quickly jog off. Excuse me there, they did dress four linemen. Brandon Pennerton is the third, and he slots in there now as that right end. Snap to Peterson, handoff to Washington. He's swallowed up for a loss. Otero got back there, as did Sean Mustin. Third down and five in another big spot for the Green Bay defense. Back-to-back -back plays there by, by the Blizzard, stopping that Iowa Barnstormers run game. Huge third down here for the Blizzard. Game clock rolling under five minutes. Third down and five. Snap to Peterson, short drop back, looking for the end zone. Into the stands, into the Blizzard bench, that is incomplete. And Gabe Rui coming out to kick the field goal. Blizzard for now, keeping this a one possession game. Great defense there by the Blizzard. Peterson kind of just had to throw it up there. Defensively, the defensive backs stuck to him pretty well. Fourth and five. And a field goal attempt coming for Gabe Rui. This one from about 36. Left hash. Snap down, kick on its way, wide left. Stays a three point game. That's huge there for the Blizzard. Missed kick by Rui. They're able to take over. Blizzard offense will take over at their own five yard line. And Max Myler threw an interception on the last drive. Now with an opportunity still, same score, just a few minutes taken off the clock. Can he lead a drive? Patron to the near, uh, near side. Two receivers to the far, two going forward motion, and a flag, and the play is blown dead. 
56 on the offense, half the distance penalty. Remain first down. Elias Marte, the guilty party, and back him up two and a half. You don't like to see that if you're the Blizzard first play of the drive. Backs him up some more. First and 13. Ball placed at the two yard line. Myler in an empty look. Four receivers out there in the formation. Snap to Myler. Looking for Ballard and incomplete. Just tried to go underneath and still couldn't deliver the ball there. Ballard couldn't play it. Second down and 13, under three minutes to go. Blizzard down by three. In a desperate need for a big time play from their second year quarterback, Max Myler. Play clock under 10. Another empty look for Green Bay. Snap to Myler, three man rush. Myler dumps off for Burgess, who pulls it down. Burgess looking for the first down, and he's got it. That's a big play to get out of the shadow of your own goal post if you're Max Myler maneuvering the pocket to get it to the dump off man and EJ Burgess. And a first down up to the 15 yard line. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Great job by Myler, sticking in the pocket, feeling the pressure, able to dump it off for the first down. First and 10 from the 15. Snap to Myler, pitch out to Burgess. Burgess trying to find the edge, and he does. EJ Burgess. Does he have the first down? He does. Inside Iowa territory. EJ Burgess with two big plays for the Blizzard offense, and they keep it up tempo here. Green Bay is rolling here on this drive. Under 90 seconds. Myler sends the receivers in forward motion, takes a snap. Pump fakes. Myler looking to take off and run. He takes a big hit. Ian McBurrow, and he's looking for a flag, and there comes one. And another flag. Myler was not happy with the shot that he took. Two flags come out. And a discussion here with the, with the officials, but Myler is slowly walking around. I think there, one might be, there might be one here for the hit, but maybe some magic words were said by Max Myler. Let's take a look here. Yeah, there's a big hit from McBurrow. Didn't initially draw a flag. Myler was none too pleased. He gets up, maybe says some words to the head official, Jim Schaefer. Yeah, Myler was visibly upset. Still a discussion here. There, there are two fouls on the play. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness on the defense. Unsportsmanlike conduct, number seven on the offense. Those penalties will offset. Second down. So the offset. I assume that Myler may have said some magic words to the official Jim Schaefer that did not please him. And everything stays second down and 10. To the fans in the rush center, not happy with that call. Well, we'll see what the Blizzard can do here, second and 10 from midfield. Under a minute to go now here in the third quarter. The receivers in forward motion, snap to Myler, he drops back, pressure's on a dump off to EJ Burgess. Burgess trying to find blockers, he's on his feet. Burgess, short of the first down marker, but a nice pickup, second down and one. Blizzard will have to run a play as there's about six seconds between play and game clock. 
Burgess doing it all here on this drive, being very versatile here for Green Bay. Third and one. Green Bay in no hurry to get this playoff. They're gonna run out of the empty as it stands right now. Receivers in forward motion. Fake handoff, Myler trying to get the first down and he does. Brought down by Jefferson Fritz. That is how the third quarter is going to come to an end. First down, Green Bay. End of the third quarter. Blizzard driving. Can they respond? Down three. End of three. Be right back here from Green Bay. you take a big head and get put on the shelf, see the professionals at Frayne Family Chiropractic and Wellness Center and get back in the game. Hey Green Bay, looking for something fun? Enter a new world of excitement at Edge VR Arcade. Compete with your friends or go solo in one of our 100 immersive experiences, ranging from exciting action-packed games, relaxing exploratory quests, and exhilarating VR escape rooms. We have something for every age and play style. Level up your next birthday or event with group games and a private party room. Explore an entirely new reality at Edge VR Arcade in Green Bay. Back in Green Bay, 24-21, Blizzard with the football, closing in on the red zone. The offense for Green Bay is yet to score in this second half. They had two touchdowns in the first half, one kickoff return for a touchdown, but they've yet to put any points on the board as an offense. Could this drive be the answer? First down and 10 from the 13. Snap to Myler. Looking, end zone, caught! Yes, touchdown, Green Bay! Harry Ballard the third, and Max Myler put it in a spot where only Ballard could get it, and they reclaim the lead. A magnificent catch there by Harry Ballard. What a way to get up there. High point the football. Again, where only he could grab it. Blizzard up by three. Mason Laramie to make this a four point game. Myler the holder. Snap down, kick up, good. Twenty-eight to twenty-four. Hey, Blizzard Nation, let's see what you got. It's time for the Gallagher's Pizza. And the Blizzard take the lead. We'll keep it right here. Taking a look at these third quarter stats. We obviously now know that Myler hit Ballard for a touchdown. Add that on top of that. Outside of EJ Burgess and Lowell Patron. That was the first catch by a Blizzard receiver not named Lowell Patron. And it comes in a huge spot. Harry Ballard the third, coming in in a big spot for Green Bay, puts them up by three, then a extra point from Mason Laramie. They needed a big play and they got it big time from the Myler to Ballard connection. Yeah, Ballard had a lot of looks last week in week one. He had four catches for 38 yards. His first catch here in this one. Ballard had a few stops in his college career. He finished at Nevada with the Wolfpack in 2021. Declared for the 2022 draft. And now continuing his career 
his rookie year in the Indoor Football League with the Green Bay Blizzard. Mason Laramie getting ready to sweep the leg. 14.05 left in the fourth quarter. McShane and Williams back to return. Kick is away, and it's a high one fielded at the five-yard line by Williams. Williams trying to find blocks. It is Cagle and Burgess, the two running backs, who come in to make the tackle at the 20-yard line. Goes to show that anyone can make plays on special teams, even two running backs. Cagle doing it on both ends of special teams earlier with that return for a touchdown. Now making a stop. Iowa set up here at the 20-yard line. First and 10 for the Barnstormers, 14 minutes and soon rolling. From the 20 yard line, first and 10. Peterson sends the receivers in forward motion, takes the snap and a false start as Long, I think, got caught too many yards off the line of scrimmage again. And Long, the only receiver on the Barnstormers roster that has at least arena experience. He's the one that gets caught with the costly false start. Backs him up five to their own 15, first and 15 coming up. If you look at this Barnstormers roster, Williams, Wilson, McShane, all of them new to the indoor game. This is Long's first year in the indoor football league. Handoff, ball is loose, picked up by Rafik Abdul-Wahid. A big, big time play for a turnover there and a costly one at that. As that was just unforced, Washington dropping the football on the exchange and Abdul-Wahid was there for the recovery. There was a brief pause there as there was a shove after the play. I don't think an official saw it or threw a flag on it. I didn't know it was going to come of it. But just like that, the Blizzard getting the football back, knocking on the door of the Green RX red zone. First and 10 from the 11. Can they finish the job? Again, finish has been the mantra this week. And the fourth quarter has been one of the best quarters we've seen from them so far. The season only two minutes into it. Still a lot to play. And whistles coming in. And timeout called by Iowa. First time on Iowa. We'll keep it here. Iowa now with only two timeouts remaining in the game. Last week, Green Bay three quarters of phenomenal football. And again, Still just not even two minutes into this fourth quarter, but everything going Green Bay's way in this fourth quarter. That's not what we saw last week. Now an opportunity, knocking on the door of the red zone. If they could score on this drive, they can make it a seven-point game, force Iowa to go down and score a touchdown. Regardless, they'd have to go down and score a touchdown, making a four-point game right now. They score a touchdown here on this drive. They go up by at least 10. So many possibilities. Again, the mantra is finished. Can they finish this drive? Under 13 minutes to go. Myler in the empty look. Fakes the handoff. Pressure coming on for McBurrow. And that one just thrown into the stands with, again, Ian McBurrow pressing in. McBurrow on his career in the IFL. 129 and a half tackles entering tonight. 22 tackles for loss. A few sacks, a few interceptions, a few fumble recoveries. He puts his hands all over the plays defensively for the Iowa Barnstormers, manning that linebacker position. Now second down and 10 coming from the 11 yard line. Receivers in forward motion. Snap to Myler and a fake handoff. Myler's gonna keep it. 
Myler takes a hit. A pickup of about four or five on this one. Still a third down coming up. They enter the red zone, but third down and five. And again, in this situation, you don't want to say four down territory, but the reward of scoring a touchdown on this drive it's certainly where they want to be, and uh, whistles coming in here. Play clock gets reset. Remember in the red zone last year, Green Bay ranked fifth on the offensive end. I was bottom three in red zone defense a season ago. Myler, pressure's on, flings it, and incomplete, caught by a fan. Nice Third down, fourth down, and five, and Mason Laramie trotting out. Trying to make this one a seven-point game. Again, the Blizzard getting a turnover. Haven't done anything with it. They gained about five yards on it. The hold will be placed at the 13-yard line. That makes this one a 21-yard attempt. Laramie missed a kick last week. That would have put the Blizzard up by seven. This, and now a flag and delay a game. Number 11, five-yard penalty. Remains fourth down. And now that's costly because now not only do you lose five yards, but now you're kicking off of a field app. They do move it to the left hash to try to avoid it. But Laramie from a same from the same spot as last week to try to make it a seven point game. Snap, down, kick is no good. So back to back weeks for Mason Laramie to try and make it a touchdown game is unable to come through. Will step aside, 28-24, 10-08 remaining in regulation. Iowa getting the football back at their own five. Thanks for watching the game on YouTube. If you're curious about what it takes to run an IFL team, join us on YouTube and the Blizzard social media channels for Strictly Blizzness. You might get some behind the scenes information on both the Blizzard and the IFL. Probably before we should be talking about it. True statement. Should we hit them with it? Let's hit them with it. Go, Go Blizz. Blizz. Refresh your senses with a kick of citrus flavor. Do the do. Nicolet Bank will pay you up to $9 a month for debit card transactions. Other banks charge you $15 to simply have a checking account. Get $9, pay $15. The decision's easy. Get your checking account opened at Nicolet National Bank. Kiss FM. Your home for Otis, Katie, and Nick. Mornings on 95.9 KISS FM. Back here from Green Bay. The Blizzard getting a turnover by way of a fumble recovery from Rafiq Abdul-Wahid, but they could not add points on top of it. Stays a four-point game. Ten minutes and change remaining in the fourth quarter. Snap to Peterson, start of the drive. Peterson rolling out. Pressure's on, he's gonna take off and run in plenty of space for DJP. He rolls down for a first down at about the 17 yard line. And again, out of the shadow of your own goal post, pick up of 12 on the ground from DJP. Yeah, you see here in the replay, drops back, really sees nothing, finds a seam, able to pick up a first down for the Barnstormers.
play clock rolling down. Under the 10 minute mark and a timeout called by Iowa. They could not get in formation. Second time up, Iowa. 9.17 to go in the fourth corner. Iowa down to one timeout in the quarter. That could be huge here. Nine minutes left to play in the fourth with only one left. You got to think, down by four. What can Iowa do now? You might need that timeout back at the end. Again, the Blizzard were in this very similar situation last week. They needed a touchdown. Or they, the Pirates needed a touchdown to win it. And they were able to score and take the lead late in that one. Is a similar finish in the cards here in week two. Snap to Peterson, dropping back, pump faking. Pressure's on a dump off, but miscommunication between Peterson and Washington and into the stands. Second and 10. Great defense there by the Blizzard. Nowhere to go for Peterson. Just had to put it into the stands. And that was a play that there was great defense there. It left Peterson to go to his dump off option, just couldn't make the connection. Second down and 10. Ball at the 17 yard line. Snap to Peterson and a handoff to Washington. Washington still on his feet. He's into Green Bay territory down to the 24 yard line. Third and short coming up, called about two. Again, another big situation. Iowa's third down offense has been good in this one. They've been able to get the plays using the legs of Peterson and Washington. They, can they come up with another play here? Third and two. Fake handoff. Peterson keeps it. He is short. No gain on the play. Fourth down. Offense here staying out on the field for Iowa. Again, field goals don't do you much in this situation. Trusting your run game. Fourth down and two. Closing in on the seven minute mark. Play clock under 10. Rush center is on their feet. Play clock rolling down. Snap to Peterson. Handoff. He might be short. He is short. And a quick challenge flag thrown by Dave Mogensen. But the initial call on the field is short. Officials talking about where to spot this football. However, Iowa's challenging. The ruling on the field is spot. Short versus line to gain made. The play is under further review. And this is a big one because, number one, it would give Iowa the first down if it is reversed, but if it is not, Iowa is out of timeouts. No timeouts left with 7.05. Let's take a look at this one. This is the first angle we get. It looks like that elbow is down. It's hard to tell from this angle. You can't really see a hash mark with the field ad where he was. I mean, it looks like there's a potential that he slides forward. And I think that would be the call that they'd be looking for. Here you're gonna be able to see if he reaches 
Can it be conclusive enough with this angle? Like you say, can it be conclusive enough? They need enough evidence to overturn this call. Do they have enough? I was very confident. Uh, both offense and defense are out there currently for Iowa. So playing it both ways. Green Bay's offense is out there. Max Myler and Matt Barrett getting a few words in. Here's our call from Jim Schaefer. After review, the ruling on the field of the runner short of the line of gain. Dan has ball. Dan. Iowa is charged its third and final timeout as they lose the challenge. Again, key word stands, not confirmed. Dave Mogensen, he was creeping his way on over there. He was looking for an explanation. But the ruling on the field stands. First and 10 coming here for Green Bay. Another opportunity to put points on the board. Ball placed at the 23 and a half yard line. Closing on the seven minute mark, clock rolling. Receivers in forward motion, snap to Myler, handoff up the middle, Jalen Cagle. Cagle stiff arming and a big pickup there on first down. One man to beat was Jefferson Fritz. And he was able to make the tackle. Cagle was able to get past Fritz there. There was nothing but green turf in front of him. Would have been a touchdown. Second down and two. Six and a half minutes remaining in regulation. Iowa with no timeouts remaining. Play clock under 10. Myler. Quick handoff, Cagle. I don't think he had the first down, he did not. Picked up about a yard, but third and one coming up. Did not quite keep the legs churning and was sent back by that Iowa defensive line. Big third down stand here for Iowa. It'll be huge if they can stop the blizzard here on third down and force them to kick a field goal. Third and one. Myler, he's going to line up under center. And a keeper, Myler, going to get pushed forward. He's got the first down using that frame of his. Getting the first down, that is a big one. All 6'3", 220 of Max Myler picking up the yards necessary. Another set of sticks. Closing in on the red zone at the 16-yard line and on the five minute mark. That was great by Max Myler there. Just under center, great push by the offensive line, able to pick up the first down. First down and 10 from the 16. Myler in the shotgun, three receivers to the far side. Snap to Myler, fake handoff, looking for his man. He's got Harry Ballard. Correction, Demetrius Moore up to the 10 yard line. Another trip to the Green RX red zone. That's Moore's first catch of the day. Like we were saying before, before Ballard caught that touchdown, that was the first catch other than Lowell Patron by a Blizzard player. Second down and four from the 10 yard line. Play clock rolling down. Blizzard just trying to take time off. Receivers in forward motion. Snap to Myler. A pitch out to Jalen Cagle. Cagle sidesteps. Doesn't quite have the first down, but it's going to be third and one again. Do they go to that tush-push style again? It depends on how close they are. That is a long yard. Under four minutes to go. 
15 seconds on the play clock. Blizzard still in the huddle, taking time away from this clock. They got to hurry it up here. Play clock rolling down. Myler takes the snap, hands it off to Jalen Cagle. Cagle has the first down and more. Jalen Cagle down to the one yard line. First down, Green Bay. Great play call there from Matt Barrett. Able to get Cagle with a full head of steam and pick up the first down at about the two yard line for Green Bay. And now clock stops after, I believe, an Iowa injury. They're checking in on Victor Hampton. And down on the field right now. We'll take this time out with them. Blizzard lead by four. Closing in on the end zone. Trying to put this game away. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. Back here in Green Bay, Victor Hampton being escorted to the sideline, had removed his helmet. First and goal. But now first and goal from the two yard line. The Blizzard trying to put this game away. The Blizzard here are gonna use up as much clock as they possibly can with Iowa having no timeouts remaining. Myler in the shotgun. We're waiting to get Hampton off the field and now they go. Clock is rolling, Myler, you can take some time off this clock. Receivers in forward motion. Myler gonna keep it and he is short. And that might still be helpful. Whistles blowing. The clock keeps rolling. That's another 40 seconds that Green Bay can take off of this clock. You can roll under two minutes. Yeah, essentially when the ball snaps. Go ahead. Yeah, if you're Green Bay though, you really want to get in, but Taking that extra 40 seconds off now does help you there. Play clock under 10. Second down and goal. Myler collision. And Myler does not get the end zone. Clock still continuing to run. A collision in the backfield. Myler just had to take it and run, him, run it himself. A little bit of angst among this crowd here at the Rush Center. Third down and goal from the one yard line. A touchdown here can put this game away. And they're one yard away from doing so. The crowd here at the Rush really wants, once again, to see this team finish here in the fourth quarter. Another play out of the shotgun. Play clock under 10. Receivers in forward motion. Snap to Myler, pitch out, Kago walking in, touchdown, Green Bay Blizzard. And ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of time left. I'm gonna call it. That might just be your dagger. You said it there right, Joey. I think that might just be the dagger. Kago just able to walk right in, nobody in front of him. That takes it to the one minute warning. They will go for the extra point before. 
This would make it an 11 point game going into the one minute warning. Myler, the holder. Laramie. Set to kick. Snap, down, flag, flies. The kick is good. We'll check in on this flag, however. Maybe a player left his stance. Well, good word here from the official. Upside defense. My rule that penalty is declined. Try is good. The kick is good. Blizzard lead by 11. One minute warning. Can they finish? We'll step aside here from the Rush Center. Hey, Green Bay. Looking for something fun? Enter a new world of excitement at Edge VR Arcade. Compete with your friends or go solo in one of our 100 immersive experiences, ranging from exciting action-packed games, relaxing exploratory quests, and exhilarating VR escape rooms. We have something for every age and play style. Level up your next birthday or event with group games and a private party room. Explore an entirely new reality at Edge VR Arcade in Green Bay. Back here at the Rush Center, kiss cam going on here at the Rush Center. This is the entertainment for now, but uh, until then, after that, we're gonna have a thrilling finish in this one. Can Green Bay close it out? This again, Green Bay looking to finish this one off here. Up by 11, Laramie set to kick off. McShane and Williams back to receive. Laramie signals and it's just gonna be a squib. Rolling McShane picks it up at the five. Dion McShane gets brought down by Sintel Williams just past the 20 yard line. First down coming up with 55.5. Again, the one minute timing rules here in the IFL. Similar to the two minute warning in the NFL just down inside one minute. The great part about the one minute warning, sometimes the last minute of each half takes longer than the previous 29 combined. Clock stops at an incomplete pass. Out of bounds, a first down. And with Iowa having no timeouts, they have to use all 55.5 seconds wisely. Peterson in the shotgun. Snap to Peterson. He's looking deep right away. Passes caught McShane, and he puts it right out of bounds. Had the first down either way, 51.1 seconds. It's a big, big gain there for Iowa on the first play. Able to get out of bounds really quickly. Only took about four seconds off the clock. And already well within position to put points on the board. Fifty-one point one seconds left. Peterson in the shotgun. Three receivers to his right. Growls the snap. Pump fakes. Peterson taking off to run. Peterson deflected. Adrian Otero gets his hands in the passing lane. Knocks it away. Second down and ten. Forty-five point seven seconds left. Yeah, Mustin be able, being able to get in there for Green Bay. Rolls Peterson outside the pocket. Didn't really see much, but then Otero comes in and creates that pass breakup. Green Bay leading by 11, 35 to 24. The defense has locked in for this fourth quarter, save for the last 45.7 seconds. Can they close it out? Snap to Peterson, dropping back. Extra man on the rush, passes, broken up. Kevin Ransom getting in there on, de on defense. Intended target was Dion McShane, third and 10. Ransom fired up after that pass breakup. That was a huge play there for the Blizzard. 
That extra pressure coming in forces Peterson to let go of that ball in an uncomfortable position. Ransom getting his hand right in there to knock it away. The rush center getting loud here on third down. Third and 10 and a timeout called by Corey Roberson perhaps maybe trying to ice the offense. Timeout Green Bay will keep it right here. 41.4 seconds remaining in this one. And if you're wondering how important that last extra point by Mason Laramie was, let's do some math here in the IFL. If it was a 10 point deficit, Iowa in theory could score a touchdown, go for the two point conversion, and then go for a deuce to tie the game on the kickoff. So really in the IFL, a one possession game is 10. There just has to be a lot to go your way but it's not impossible to tie it up down 10. But now Green Bay up 11, they kind of control the cards. Snap to Peterson, dropping back. Pressure's on, he's still on his feet. Peterson, still on his feet. He's got Washington trying to get some extra yardage. Pickup of about five and they gotta go quickly. Yeah, Iowa's gotta clock this ball right here. And they can't, it's fourth down. So they need this first down on this play. Time running out. Snap to Peterson, one man in high motion. End zone, incomplete! That's gonna finish it. You said Green Bay, they're, it's gonna finish it. They're able to finish here in the fourth quarter to take home a week two victory against the Iowa Barnstormers to be one and one. An injured Iowa Barnstormer down on the field and a flag does fly. I think this is gonna be on Green Bay. You know what I say, I said last year, and I think we might have hammered the point home with finish. Here's three new words that you haven't heard in a year, just walk away. This would be one of those situations here for Green Bay. You don't want to sully a good win first on the season. Yeah, you don't want your emotions to get the best of you here with only 10.4 on the clock, up by 11. Just want to get your offense out in the field and be able to kneel this one out. Joe Bastante, the center. Have to give uh, a shout out to a fellow Joey B. So it is Rivarius Rivers, Vi Rivers, that gets flagged for the unsportsmanlike, but just backs him up to the five. And all Green Bay has to do to close this one out, one kneel down. They'll move to one and one, head into the bye next week before heading down to Moline to take on the Quad City Steam Wheelers. Iowa also gonna be on a bye. And a flag flies, now the clock stops. Iowa will also be on a bye. Before heading to Tulsa, their home opener won't be until April 20th. This might be an illegal procedure. Green Bay just trying to get into victory formation. Yeah, 
And there it goes. A legal formation, a kneel down. And that is how this one comes to an end. 35 to 24, Green Bay. Winners here in week two. They go to one and one on the season. Taking down the Iowa Barnstormers in their season opener. Barnstormers fall to 0-1. They will be on a bye before heading to Tulsa, Oklahoma to take on the Oilers. Again, they do not have a home game for quite a while. Not until mid-April, mid to late April, that is. Next home game, going to be a day before that, April 19th, as the Blizzard take on the Sioux Falls Storm. Again, these Eastern Conference matchups, crucial as each season goes along, as each week of the season goes along. That'll just about wrap things up for our coverage this evening from the Rush Center, from my broadcast partner, Casey Hibbert, for the Iowa Barnstormers, the Green Bay Blizzard, all of us here at the Indoor Football League. I'm Joey Bonanna. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's action of Indoor Football League action. And as always, go Blizz.